Very interesting. I'm in the market for a new one, but I think I'm going to pass this up even at 25% off of seven bucks. Um, pretty similar to what I got. It's actually in very good shape. It doesn't have a regulator though, but I have one. But I'm going to pass on it. But a thrift store is a wonderful place. Put it in the cart, but we'll decide later. I passed on it this time. I went back a week later and it was actually still there. But I passed again because I already got cheap grills. I want to get a semi-decent portable grill so I can stop cooking on aluminum foil. One of these days really soon I'll get a new one, but back to the thrift store stuff. Okay YouTubers, here's another thrift store haul. I've said a couple times because I've tried to save money. The thrift store seems to be the most shopping I actually do, other than a couple things on Amazon every now and then. Okay, here we go. This is... This is just a big kind of clear waterproof bag and I figured this will probably house my grill and I got this because it was because of 25% discount so 75 cents I think I can use that come in handy in an RV again I really do think thrift stores are good for RVing this was two different trips Okay, what this is, this is a waterproof mattress cover, and this trip seemed to be finding a lot of waterproof mattress covers. Um, this was a buck fifty after the discount. Um, when you have pets, maybe it's all in my head, but I like to cover things, so I tend to, I tend to kind of buy those. I found a couple more of them. These were smaller that I think I can use for the driver and passenger seat. And, you know, you wash them. It's not a big deal. As you, as you can see, it's a waterproof material. And if you have pets, they get sick. They have accidents. It's been a really long time since there was an accident. And luckily it was in... I had something down, but I like to have these. And these were 75 cents. This one was 75 cents. And there's another one. I snagged them all. Because <laughs> there was quite a few of them. And they honestly look... Some of them look pretty much brand new. But... Having these on hand for me... Will ease my concerns. And I think... I can rest assured now that if something happens, no, where I'm, no matter where I'm at, I'm prepared. Okay, here's a bag that I got the next trip to the thrift store stuff in. So let's see what I got. Hold on. Okay, here I got some non-slip stuff. Quite a bit. Again, I only go on the 25% off days. So there's uh, 49 cents, but it was 25% off. I think that's a pretty good deal. Uh, this helps. I can put this on the cooler so stuff don't fall off when I'm driving. I can. I think I got a couple places in the shelves I can line again. And under the litter box so it doesn't slide around and the litter box go everywhere. This little bag is a backpack. Super lightweight. It appears to have never been used. It has pouches and packs. But... What I liked about this is I can scrunch this up and probably almost stick it in my pocket and then if I go somewhere and I want to carry some stuff back I have a lightweight backpack where I can throw stuff in it which I think will help. For some reason I have a thing about backpacks and bags and stuff but when they cost 69 cents and 25% off I don't think that's I don't think that's a waste of money. Found another pair of sandals, my size 10s. That's the hardest part is finding things that fit. I'm gonna clean the heck out of these because I'm really not a, I'm not a fan of clothes or shoes or stuff like that from the thrift store, but my thrift store aunt says everything can be clean, so I'll get to cleaning this. And these were 25% off, so they were a buck 50. I think that's a pretty good deal. You might see these in upcoming videos.
This little thing, this needs cleaned up, but $3, but 25% off, so two and a quarter. It's flashlight, needs new batteries, doesn't work. But you open it up, and it had a, a little tool kit with the ratchet, with sockets, screwdrivers, an extender, little bitty screwdrivers, um, nothing missing. And I just thought at two dollars, two and a quarter, I couldn't pass this up. So small, and maybe it'll come in handy. I put this back a couple times, but I did grab it. So there you go, YouTubers. I think if you have a good thrift store nearby, you should really check it out. There's a lot of stuff you don't want to take home, but there's some good stuff in there. There's some stuff that's brand new, and there's stuff that's really lightly used. I'm lucky. I really like that thrift store. It's called Valley Thrift, and there's three locations in the southern Ohio area. I think for RVers, thrift stores are awesome. You can find you can find a lot of stuff to give tries to to see if it's going to work in your RV, and. There we go. We'll see if these things work. Have a great and wonderful day. All right, YouTubers. Let's put the thrift store stuff on here. All right. There we go. There is that waterproof mattress cover. Good deal. Happy with that? Good deal at the thrift store. All right, let's keep going. This is another one. It, uh... I'll take it along as a spare just in case, you know, if something happens and I can't get to the, get to the laundry quick enough. Up in here with my spare sheets. So let's see how this does. None of these are ever perfect. Okay, so that works, and actually I'm going to see about changing something. Let me see here. All right, let's try that again. So we'll do this. And then... Okay, so there we go. There's my Yankee sweatshirt back on top. Pockets there to use stuff. I put this in between, so we're good to go. What I've also done in the pet, well, I'll just show you. I won't tell you. Okay, so what we got here, this is another one of those. It's actually from the thrift store. As you can see, I use this one a lot um, for the hair, but it's waterproof as well. So I can double, double cover. And if something, if an accident happens, I can take that out, put it in a bag somewhere in one of the compartments or something like that until I can wash it and it's still protected. And I realize this is probably overboard for this only having happened once where one of the cats peed on what the seat would be. But again, luckily I had it covered. So now I'll feel totally safe. Now we'll do the next thing. Okay. Here's the other one, just like it. And what I'll do with this is, I will only put this on like when I've stopped driving. And I should be able to tuck it right behind the seat. Hold on. Okay. Let's see, you never know, maybe I might even ride on this. Put this on here. Guess you never know. It could work. I could do that. Not sure, but I'll show you what else. Because they lay here a lot. And there's another one that needs washed. You can tell where Vinny lays. But I take this. Again, it's also waterproof. And I take this bungee. I've been doing this for a while. 
and I wrap it around and then that way it can't, you know, I can even fold that down so it's not coming out, but I know there's probably a lot of people that go, oh, relax dude, that's too much and if you don't own cats, this might be a reason why you don't, but if you're like me, well, some people say it's just cat, get over it, take it easy, relax, but for me, I can't tolerate that shit. Um, I'm pushing the outer limits of what I can cope with with the cats. They're really lucky that I like them, but I think for those of you out there that travel with pets, ideas like this might help you out. And these were all really cheap at the thrift store. So have a great and wonderful day.